All right. In this video, we're going to find an interesting data set to work with from this uh, public data sets that we have available to us. So I was doing a little bit of research in here, but what you can do is come up here to add data, kind of public data sets, and then find one that's interesting to you. Like a simple one that I found that would be good for this video is I think this birds data. So you can read about the data set here. This data set contains natality data. I think that means something to do with births. Based on CDC collected stats for live births occurring in the US to US residents. This data capture a range of maternal demographic information. So this should be an interesting way to explore some data that's simple. Um, so if you click view data set here, this data set is BigQuery public data, SDOH CDC wonder natality. This is the data set, data set ID. And then under this data set ID, there should be some tables. So if we come over here, drop down BigQuery public data, and we go down to SDOH, Actually, like, I'm pretty sure we can just type in the search bar for this. Um, but here it is. Wonder Natality. And we could have also done this, I think. S-D-O-H. That's a better way to do it. Click this drop down. And there's a few different tables we have available. Let's just click this one. So clicking this, it'll open up the schema. And basically what a schema is, is it'll tell you um, the structure of the table. And so each one of these field names is a column. We've got year, county of residence, um, number of birds, average age of the mother, some Interesting data here. This is type, so this is the data type. So year will be a date data type. County is a string. Birth is an integer because it's the number of births. And all these floats are also numbers. They're just like decimal numbers. Uh, and it'll tell you some more information about these columns, like is this column nullable or not? So like basically like can a field be null? And all of these are nullable. And then there's a description in here of each one of these fields. So it'll basically like tell you a little bit of information about what that column is. So that's schema. If you hit details here, it'll give you some details about the table. How many rows? 1878. Uh, I think it'll tell you how big the table is too. So. Um, yeah, it's either 168 or 42, honestly, I don't really remember. Then if you hit preview here, it'll preview the, the table for you. So there's only 1,800 rows, so this is actually a pretty small table. Um, but, you know, like, there's year here, the county, I think this is just a county code, number of births, and then some of these other uh, data uh, columns, average age of mother, and whatever the stuff is up here. So if you hit query here, uh, sometimes I like to do in a split tab. So you can have your split tab over here as like your little SQL editor. And then if you go back to schema here, you can have the columns on the left side, which is nice. So if you only want to select like a few columns in your query, you've got the columns over here that are available. So let's just, uh, oh, select must not be empty. Got to put a star there. Okay. So then you can start messing around with this data, um, which we'll do in the next video.